Welcome to the Cop Shop Podcast, the Telegraph's weekly compilation of police report oddities and curiosities, with host, Telegraph reporter, Joe Kovac Jr. Chatty drunken driving suspect wets his pants and tells cop, you're not worth a... Yeah... Gold Chevy Tahoe parked at a stop sign and not moving caught the eye of a Bibb County Sheriff's deputy the other night. It was just past midnight in the wee hours of March 9th. The Tahoe was stopped at the intersection of Wesleyan Drive and New Forsyth Road in North Macon. Its driver, a 40-year-old Vidalia man, was passed out at the wheel. The Tahoe, meanwhile, was running and in gear. There was also a strong odor of alcohol coming from it. A sheriff's report of the episode said the driver was roused, but his speech was very slurred. The write-up also mentioned it appeared that he had urinated in his pants. The driver took a breath test and his blood alcohol level was said to be more than twice the legal limit. On the way to jail, a deputy noted the driver was, quote, very talkative. He told me numerous times, you're not worth a bleep. He also told me that he would get me. Later at the Bibb lockup where he was booked for DUI, the Tombs Countian cursed and threatened everyone. What a good that did. A 21-year-old Macon woman and her alleged shoplifting accomplice, 20, were caught March 9th after darting out of the Rite Aid on Pierce Avenue with what a sheriff's report said were, quote, several packs of eyelashes, shampoo, makeup, several pairs of socks, and a blow dryer. The sheriff's deputy who tracked the pair down at a nearby motel noted in his write-up that before going to jail, the two did fork over one pack of eyelashes and the dryer. Quote, the other items were already being used or consumed. And now from our dispatches files. Nine young women reportedly met along Cedar Avenue near New Piney Grove Baptist Church in Macon's Unionville neighborhood the evening of March 13th. They'd gathered to fight. A Bibb Sheriff's report described the encounter as mutual combat. One woman was punched by another who had on brass knuckles. One woman's Honda suffered a baseball bat blow to the trunk. Another woman's iPhone was stolen in the melee. Game wardens with the Georgia Department of Natural Resources handled, quote, an in-progress complaint of individuals killing a gopher tortoise in a Dublin neighborhood on February 15th. A DNR report went on to note that Officers located the complainant and took possession of a common snapping turtle. And let's see. A man driving down Broadway in South Macon on a recent Friday afternoon called for help when, as a sheriff's report put it, a woman riding in another car that aggressively pulled up beside him began waving a wrench out the passenger side window. (laughs) 